This is BenQ PD3420Q. It is their 34-inch ultra-wide screen display and is part of the designer series. The aspect ratio for this panel is 21 to 9, but with some of the split screen mode, you can run this in a more traditional 16 to 9 and have the other side of the display running in a 5 to 9 aspect ratio. What I'm going to do is show you how you can set it up, what are some of the considerations, cables that you have to use, and settings that you need to change on a Mac OS. If you want to see a guide for PC, I will upload a separate video to show you that. Let's get started. I'm Art and Art is right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. Running a widescreen display in its native aspect ratio 21 to 9 can have its benefit. For instance, if you're doing a lot of panorama editing or if you're editing video or you shot a video in anamorphic widescreen, those are some of the immediate benefits you can get right away. However, there are many other creative uses for this type of widescreen display too. One of the things that you can do is use a software application. For example, BenQ makes their own called Display Pilot. And what you can do there is use that program to organize the different apps on your screen so that it will snap to a particular area or portion of the screen. That's a really great way to utilize these widescreen displays so that the apps are not overlapping each other and it doesn't look chaotic on your desktop or on your screen in general. Another app that I have been using for quite some time now is Better Snap Tool, and that is an app that will run on a Macintosh system. The great thing about Display Pilot by BenQ is that it is free, it is included with the PD display, and it will run on both Mac and PC. That being said though, what you can do with this display is run it in a more traditional 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So essentially the left part of the screen will be 16 by 9 and the right part of the screen will be a 5 by 9 aspect ratio. This is pretty much the way how they have code the firmware of the display that will allow you to do that. When you do that, a few things to keep in mind is that the 16 by 9 aspect ratio will be equivalent to a 2K display, 2560 by 1440 height. On the 5 to 9 aspect ratio will be 880 by 1440. One thing that you can't do though is switch the 5 to 9 aspect ratio to be on the left side or on the right side, you can't do that. It will only remain and be on the right side of the display. This being said, there are a few things you can do with that. For instance, you can use one singular computer to power two portions of those display, but it might just be better for you to run this in a single 21 to 9 aspect ratio, which is the reason why I mentioned the software in the beginning. But if you want to run a singular computer at two of those display in split screen mode, you can. What you need to do is use two display cables coming out from your computer. So what I'm going to do is show you how you can set that up and also the settings that you need to go and change on a Macintosh as well because it won't be recognizing those resolution properly. The way how that is done in general is that it looks at the display firmware and determine the resolution or the best optimal resolution to output the signal there. The thing is that with this display, even though you run it in split screen mode, it is still seeing a 21 to 9 widescreen aspect ratio display. So let's see how we can set this up. So in order to power this split screen mode from a singular computer, what you're going to need is two display cables. For instance, one of them is a USB Type-C that I'm using, and I also have an HDMI at the ready as well when I switch the mode so I can show you that. The first thing that you want to do is go into the display menu and go into the hamburger menu or the setting menu, and we'll choose input. Go down to PVP picture by picture 5 to 9, and just like that, you have enable it. So we have the left 16 to 9 that is showing us the input that we're using a USB type C right now. And then we also got the 5 to 9 input and you can change the input to this. You can run them on the same input. However, the resolution is going to be extremely skewed and it won't work well at all. This is the reason why I recommend running two separate display cables so that you can control the input for those or each individual display cables individually. The other thing that you can do too, and I'll show this later in the video, is for example to use another computer source entirely so you can run two computers side by side on one display and not sacrifice too much of the resolution of the primary display. Right now, if you take a look at the 169 proportion, if I pull up a web page, you will see right away that the proportion of the screen right now is really skewed. That is because the computer doesn't natively recognize that this is a 2K 2560 by 1440. What we need to do first is go in and set the resolution. What I'm also going to do right now is plug in my HDMI and this can be any other type of input source as well. It can be one of the HDMI ports 
or it can also be a display port depending on what you want to use. So you do have a lot of flexibility and option there. So I've just plugged in my HDMI port and this is supposed to call up a screen. There we go. And the aspect ratio is all wrong here. So in order to set this up, what I'm going to do is a screen recording so you can see what's going on. I'll post it up on the screen too to overlay all of these. So I have just gone into Mac OS system preferences display and this is what we're seeing here. I have aggregated all of the resolution windows onto just pretty much my laptop screen so I can do a screen recording and easily share this with you. But essentially, if you're looking on my screen right now, you will see that the arrangement, the way how the program or the OS see this right now is that it has two 21 to nine screen next to each other, which is the reason why everything is really kind of squished, especially on the five to nine portion. So we need to go in and change that. The way how we're gonna do is what you need to do first is identify which display it is. Normally these will pop up on the proper display. However, I have identified this already and the PD3420Q2 is the 16 to nine portion. You won't have to really figure this out because it will pop up on the relative screen and it will make it easier for you. So the best thing that you can do is that we need to run this at scale resolution, but by clicking on scale alone, that doesn't really do the job. So what we have to do is hold down the option key and then click on scale. This will allow us to go into the menu and change the option for the resolution freely as we choose. And they don't have to necessarily be the resolution that matches the 21 to nine aspect ratio. So for this one, I'm gonna go in and choose 2560 by 1440. You're gonna see that that portion now looks normal right away. So what we see now is the first portion of the screen, the 16 by nine running a 16 to nine aspect ratio. So if I launch Safari up, we can see that everything looks normal again, which is exactly what we want. So what about this five to nine aspect ratio screen? Again, what you have to do is come in and do a very similar thing is to hold down the option key and then click on scale. You will see that I pull up the options, but it doesn't really have the resolution that I want. One thing that you can do is hold down the option key and click on the word scale one more time. It will pull up more resolution. So if you don't see all of the resolution right away, hold down the option key and click on scale twice. And this will pull out the extra options that may not show up in the beginning. So what we're gonna do is set this one to 880 by 1440. It says, do you want to switch to the scale resolution? Yes, we do. So now if you're seeing on my screen at the moment, I can pretty much go in and drag all these window across as you see there and everything looks normal. Again, though, this is a very small portion of the screen is 16 to nine, but this is how you can run this on a singular input source. A few more things that you can do with this, for instance, is you can go into the menu, P by P or picture by picture five and nine and change the left and the right input source. So you can choose other input source if you want. If you want to swap the input source between the left and the right, you can. What you simply have to do is go back to this menu and go down to swap and it will swap the input source. Remember though, that when you do that, the 16 to nine is still going to be on the left side and the five to nine aspect ratio is still going to be on the right side of the display. There is no way to change it so that this one will show up on the left side of the display. What I'm doing now is I just powered up another Mac and I'm going to show you how you can use two input sources. So what I'm gonna do is use the HDMI from the Mac, plug that in, let's see what happens to this. So all of the screens are now refreshing because it's detecting an input source. And you will see that natively on this other Mac that I powered up, it doesn't recognize this five to nine aspect ratio natively right now. So what we're gonna do is log in and try our best to see if we can navigate through this limited screen squish resolution. So what we would do is go into systems preferences, again, display. And this is really hard to see, but I can probably make a guess on this. So I'll press on scale and let's see if we can go just to the one right below it. This is a little bit better. But what we need though is 880, which I think is this one. Nope, that's still too high, but we can now see a little bit easier now. One more time. It asks if you want to set this strange resolution to which I say yes. And now I have the other Mac mini literally 
running on a 5 to 9 aspect ratio. So you can certainly run it this way. For instance, if you have two machines, you can have this uh, running an email program or a thread or something like that. This can be helpful for those coders or need to run a test on another platform. It can be helpful there. There's other split screen mode too, but the reason why I want to show this is because I think this is probably one of the most interesting split screen mode that you have for this ultra wide screen. And it requires some setup that goes beyond what the other split screen mode would require you to do. Anyway, I hope that you find this guide on how to run this type of split screen, the 5 to 9 aspect ratio on this PD3420Q helpful. If you have any questions about this, leave them in the comment section below. Give this video a like, subscribe if you're new, hit on the bell to be notified every time I upload new videos like this. And until next time, art is right.